Hey everyone, Eric Thurber here from Thurber Shots, and today we're going to talk about a hyperlapse that I shot in San Francisco and go through the settings that I made for it on the RC. Uh, basically, it's just a straightforward shot, and, and uh, we go through all the settings for manual mode with the camera and what it takes to get it done. So, let's get started. Okay, so this is the first shot that we took right out of the camera. This is what it looks like. It's all orangey and all that. So we're going to go and post-process this and this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is 300 plus images, stabilized uh, color correction and all of that. Gives you an idea of what the process looks like. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just getting things lined up for the shot and we're going to do a course lock hyperlapse right out of the DJI Mavic. This is the 4 Pro that I'm doing this with, so it only offers two second intervals as to where the creator combo gives you the one second interview. So I'm just gonna get things kind of lined up and then I'm gonna do a straight course lock. Anytime I try to get fancy with these with different movements and that kind of thing, it really just blows the shot. So I tend to like just a really straight, steady, easy shot. And we're gonna do all of this in manual. Right, so you can see that everything's, even though we're in pro mode, you can still set those to auto, but I'm gonna change all of these to manual. And because, you know, from shot to shot, you get uh, something changes and it, it flashes and it's just not good. Keep everything manual. That's really key to these hyperlapses. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do again is I'm just gonna press that lock button and it's gonna go just straight where you're looking at. You can turn the drone after you press the lock and it'll still go in the direction you're looking at right here. So that's kind of key to remember. But in this case, I'm just going to go straight, look, look ahead, get things framed up just the way I like, and then I'm just going to hit go. So before we do that, now I got everything set the way I want it to look, we're going to just go in and take a look at our settings. So I want this to be about 10 seconds, which usually equates to 12 seconds on this. 7.7 uh, .7 miles an hour, uh, and there you have it. Two second interval, and we're gonna click go, and just let that guy run for this, this particular one is over five minutes. And there you have it. 